As a business leader, your day-to-day -day job is about driving the performance of your business in the right direction. And a really valuable tool to support you to do that is KPIs. Now, in really simple terms, a KPI tells you what you are aiming for and if you are on track to achieve it. And ideally, you want to set multiple KPIs that cover all aspects of your business that tell you whether your entire business is performing optimally and is on track to achieve its overall goals. Now, KPIs are often misunderstood and especially misused in business. So the most common myth about KPIs is that they are financial numbers only and that they're reserved for the biggest of businesses, but neither of these are true. So regardless of whether it's just you in your business right now or whether you've got a team around you, here are my three top tips for getting the most value out of KPIs to drive positive performance in your business. So my top tip number one with KPIs is to keep it super simple. Now, I mentioned that you want to have a suite of KPIs that give you a full overview of your entire business. But the thing with KPIs is it's in the name, they are key performance indicators. They are not intended to give you a deep dive over your whole entire business. And therefore, ideally, you want around a handful of KPIs or a maximum of 10 KPIs that you can track on a regular basis. And once you've identified what those KPIs are, the easiest way to record this is in what's known as a KPI dashboard. And in simple terms, a KPI dashboard is a visual way of displaying your targets and how you're performing against them. Now, when some people think of a KPI dashboard, they'll see things like this and they will be massively over complex models with lots of fancy graphs and charts and things like that. But in my experience of working in finance, especially with small businesses, actually the most effective KPI dashboard is often the super simple traffic light system. And the reason that I like this is this is a universal language. It's very easy for anybody to understand and it's also importantly very quick to prepare. And that is really important when it comes to KPIs. So like I say, we're not intending to do a deep dive into your business. What you want to be able to do is have a high level view of what's happening in your business. You can see what is working and what's on track to achieve your goals. But more importantly, you can see where things are not working and you're not in track to achieve your goals. And they're the areas that you want to focus on. You want to get into the detail, understand what's not working and fix it to ensure that your overall goals can be met. So my first tip there is to keep things super simple and leading on nicely from that is number two, and that is to review your KPIs at least weekly. So I often speak with businesses and they will tell me that they have a KPI dashboard and often they get this from their bookkeeper or their accountant on a monthly basis. But the whole point of a KPI dashboard is that it gives you an indication of how your business is performing. So that is used in the most valuable way when you can take immediate action to fix things in your business that are not working. So getting that KPI dashboard on a monthly basis when it's already four to six weeks out of date is no help because at the end of the day, as a strategic CEO who wants to work on their business and not in your business, your day-to-day -day job is to drive those numbers in the right direction. So you need to be able to have those numbers, those KPIs at your fingertips so that you can make smart decisions that keep your business on track. So ideally, you want to sit down every week and share those KPIs with everybody in your business. And I also recommend even considering inviting external contractors into your business for this meeting if you're using outsource. And you want to share with everybody in your team exactly how the business is performing. Are you all on track to achieve your shared goal, your KPIs? And more importantly, what actions are you going to take in the coming weeks to ensure that the business achieves its overall goals? So so my third tip for getting maximum value out of KPIs in your business is to always group your metrics in threes. So one of the most common issues that I have come across when looking at businesses that have set KPIs themselves is that they tend to just set one metric. So if you went down their KPI dashboard, for example, they would have a metric such as sales growth. But the problem with this is that that can be interpreted differently by different people in your business. So you might have one salesperson, for example, that goes out and starts heavily discounting to try and win customers. 
or you might have a, another salesperson that goes out and likes to target tricky customers that maybe your competitors don't want to take because they're difficult to deal with and they'll sap your time and ultimately profitability. And therefore, it's quite common for there to be some unintended consequences when setting any goal or measure. And that's essentially what a KPI is. This is a goal and a measure of performance. So the best way to tackle this is to always group your KPIs into threes. So if we take the example of sales growth, your overall KPI is sales growth but you need to ensure that your customer experience and your profitability isn't negatively impacted by the pursuit of sales growth. So therefore, your headline KPI that you're reviewing regularly will be your sales growth, but you will have supporting metrics in the background, such as your GP percentage or your customer satisfaction score, that allows you to check that you and your team are on track and that there's no unintended consequences of this headline KPI. So this headline KPI is what you want to review on a weekly basis, but the supporting metrics, I would recommend that you're reviewing on a monthly or maybe even a quarterly basis. And these supporting metrics will really help you to ensure that overall the performance of your business and your team is optimized and that you are on track to achieve your overall goals. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also check out my free Facebook group for businesses that want to grow.